The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everyone. It's Ashley with Girl Scouts. Um, I'm here doing our uh, Unify overview for parents. Uh, if you are registered, welcome. There is also going to be a webinar for troop PSMs that will be posted next week. So if you're a troop PSM and uh, not a parent, uh, the troop PSM one will be up next week. If you're a troop PSM and also a parent and you want to watch both, that's totally okay. I'm not going to be going over any kind of troop information. We're only going to be talking about the parent side of Unify. Uh, so I'm just going to wait about one more minute and let some folks jump in. We did have a few people registered, so I will let them uh, get logged in and sat down and ready for the webinar. Um, so we'll wait just a few minutes and then get started. Just so everyone's aware, we are recording our webinar tonight, so if for some reason, if your internet goes out or um, you have a question later after our webinar is over, please feel free to re-watch it and send us any questions. Uh, there is some, there is a questions tab in the webinar, so as I'm going, if you think of a question, please feel free to type it in. I will answer those as we go. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. So what you should be seeing on your screen is the login screen for Unify. Um, as we add girls and update them, which we will only be adding 2019 girls, girls who are renewed for this new year, uh, you will be getting an email. The parent should get an email stating that you've been added to Unify to go ahead and log in. Um, you'll want to use the email that's attached to your Girl Scout account here at Council. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select my email. When you go to the next screen, that's where you want to enter in your password. If you have if you have a girl who's done the program before, um, I have found that most old Nut E logins do work. Um, they don't always allow you to log in, though, so I do suggest just going ahead and resetting your password for this year. And how you do that is you'll want to click this red Get Help link right here. So if you're someone who hasn't logged in yet and you're trying to log in, um, definitely go ahead and use your email that you have attached to you and your girl here. Click this red Get Help link right here, and that will trigger the system to send you a password reset uh, email, and so that will get sent out to you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and enter in my password and we'll get started. So for this, I'm actually going to go ahead and impersonate um, a parent's account for you guys. So I'm just going to choose someone from our list here. Okay, so what you should be seeing now is the girl dashboard. This is what you're going to be looking at when you first log into your daughter's account. Now, it will look different if you are also the troop PSM and then you also have a daughter. Uh, when you log in, it's going to show you first the troop dashboard. And actually how you switch that is by going to the menu and you click switch role. And then you would click go to troop dashboard or if you're um, the true PSM and you're wanting to access your girl's account, you go to uh, go to girl dashboard. 
So first if you log in, it's going to have the email information of what's going to be going out to people that you upload for your daughter. Uh, so a few things on this particular page that I wanted to point out to you guys. This trefoil, trefoil symbol right here with the I in it is great for lots of information. There's lots of things under here. So what this is going to show you is a quick snapshot of your girl's sales for the year. So as your girl um, participates in the program and she sends her emails and people purchase product, you're going to see a really quick snapshot right here. Messages is if you get a message from your uh, service unit PSM or troop PSMs can also send out messages and then of course um, me here at council I can also send you guys messages through this system. If there is a message there will be an icon right up here that tells you that you have something to look at. Uh, so as you're logging in please be aware of that. Um, that's great just so that we can communicate with you a little bit faster. Uh, program information is going to be really basic information about the program. So um, you're going to have the nut order card. There is a copy of the nut order card just in case your girl needs an extra one or, you know, dad wants to take it to work and mom wants one for her job or you guys want one to go door to door or you whatever the case may be. We do have that up on gskasmo.org right now under candy. Um, it is printable, so you are able to print it or download it. Um, and so that's already up. But when you click on this, it's going to take you to essentially the PDF of the not order card. So uh, program info and activities. Uh, these are things that some troops normally do. So it's going to be the rally guide. There is a goal poster in here if your girl wants to do it. Um, but that's where that lives. What I want to show you guys is the online training portion of this website. So when you click on this, it's going to show you the uh, some really quick, short, one to two minute videos that you can click on that will show you how to do really simple things within this Unify system. Uh, it is a new system this year and it does look quite similar to Nut-E. This is something we had last year. Um, and you guys will see that as we're kind of going through here. But one of the things that they have added in here are these really quick videos on how to do really simple things like how to run your girl's sales report or how to select rewards, um, how to access the girl dashboard. So really quick things. Um, and again, that lives right here under program info and then the training online. Uh, this calendar is just really quick uh, deadlines for you guys to know when things are due. Um, so basically, as you can see, the sale ends on the 7th, and then we have some deadlines in here for parents that they'll want to keep an eye on. Um, so as we're going, uh, girl, so on this page, girls can set a goal so they can change however much they want to try and sell this year. Um, that's where they can set that as. And we'll go look at the emails tab. Um, so as you can see, she has uploaded some emails in here to send out to people for sales. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is girls who do send 45 plus emails this year are eligible to go to Coco Key Water Resort with us on October 14th. That event is free for the girl and one parent. Um, and again, that's just for sending out 45 emails. So the girl doesn't have to make a sale or anything. We just need her to send out 45 plus emails. And then she's welcome to join us for that event, which is going to be so much fun. Um, one thing I want to show you on here that's really important is this option right here that says Offer Girl Delivered. So when you upload your emails, um, you'll see that uh, you have this option here, this toggle, and I just clicked on this um, question mark symbol, and you'll see the question mark symbols kind of throughout the Unify website, and what those are are almost like the little paper clip that used to pop up in Microsoft where it gives you tips and tricks on what it is and how it works, and that's what that question mark symbol is. So I do want to tell you that if you see that anywhere on the website or you have a question about something and it's fillable to please hover over it and it'll tell you what it's about. But essentially you have the option to offer girl delivered to 
anyone you put in your email list. So say you're sending an email to an aunt that lives in Texas and you don't want to offer girl delivered to that person because you know that you may not see them until Christmas or whatever the case may be, you'll definitely want to turn that toggle off so that it's white so it is not offering girl delivered. Now, if you did have a friend that lives close and, or a coworker you're sending an email to, um, please toggle it. When you toggle it, it will turn green. Um, and then that just means that you are willing to deliver the product to that person. With the girl delivered option, just as a heads up, any online orders, that customer is paying online. So if you offer girl delivered, it's a great option for you. If um, you don't want to be collecting money or you're not going to be doing in-person orders, that's okay. Um, just sending out emails and then offering girl delivered, that means that you are not collecting money. Um, that person is placing their order online. They are paying online. The only thing you're doing on your part with that is that you are delivering the actual candy and nut product to that person. Um, same thing with all online orders. So all online orders, whether it be girl delivered or not girl delivered, uh, those people are paying online. So um, this is where the girl can text and share information out. So um, if you click on this view my card button, uh, what this is, is the business card that your girl can print and hand out to people. So if for some reason she is going door to door or maybe you have a girl that lives in an apartment complex and you just want to put these in people's mailboxes or on their doors, that's totally fine. All this is is a code. Um, so the person goes to the website, enters in your daughter's code, and then she's ordering, that person is ordering products from your girl. So that's a really nice tool to have. They're fun. The girls enjoy them. You can cut them out. Um, so they're great. Uh, with a text message, one of the easiest things to do with the text message, because obviously you're saying you cannot, like, we don't encourage you to upload numbers or just continue to send out a text one by one. So what I usually tell parents to do is to send this text directly to your phone number yourself. Uh, and then you can kind of forward or copy and paste and send to a group of people or um, put it out, put that ID out there so that people can order. But yeah, you definitely don't want to sit here and have to enter in every single phone number in your phone or um, every single phone number in your spouse's phone to get them to send a text. I usually tell people, just send it to yourself and then forward it out. That is the easiest way to do that. Uh, you can also share on Facebook. So uh, when you click on this, it may take me to my personal Facebook page, so I apologize. Oh, it doesn't. Great. Well, kind of. So when you click on that Facebook button, what that's going to do is pull up a link for you to share. So this is just sharing out that, hey, I'm, uh, my daughter is selling Girl Scout candy nuts and magazines. You can follow this link and order from her. So it's a really good and fast way to do the online system and get orders and really quickly share out your girl's online code so that people can order from her. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go over to the My Creation patch. So girls who sell $150 in product, that's combined, so that's uh, candy nuts, magazines, and more, $150, uh, they are eligible to create the My Creation patch. Um, we've had this for the last couple years now. It's really a lot of fun. This year we have our mascot, which is a doggy, um, and you can see here, it's just giving you an example. Uh, this is a really great thing for for girls to do on their own. It's really fun. Um, they can click what kind of dog they want. So if they want their dog to have spots or um, you can change the backgrounds, uh, the eyes. There's some special accessories that you earn as you're doing sales. So it's a lot of fun. Um, I have had some questions on where that is. So it is right when you log in, you just go straight to my creation. Okay, so order entry. So this year, you as parents do have the option 
to enter in your girls' order cards essentially online. Now, the troop leader and the service unit PSM will still be verifying that those order cards are correct and that you have enough money for those in-person orders that you've taken. Um, so that's something that's uh, very important. But you are able, so if your girl sells one whole cashew and one dill pickle peanut, you can go ahead and enter that in here. Um, and that's just going to show you, keep a running total of what your girl has sold. You can see that down here. Uh, what also shows down here is when the girl has online orders that are direct shipped. So anyone who orders shows up right here. It does have the person's name directly next to the order, which is a really nice feature. So you can see who purchased from your girl right away if you want to send them a thank you email or a thank you text um, or whatever you want to do with that. You'll see the person's name populate right away. Uh, same thing with online orders that are girl delivered. Whenever someone purchases on the online orders that are girl delivered, they also show who purchased the items, what they purchased, how much they purchased. That all shows here. And then the product summary is where you're going to see a combination of all three of these. So the product summary is going to show you any in-person deliveries plus any online ordered girl deliveries. It's all going to show right here. Um, once you update this, you'll definitely want to make sure that you hit save and continue every time. That's going to save the girl's information. If you want to update the girl's order card more than once or you just want to do it at the end of the sale, that's totally fine. Whatever works for your family and your schedule and however often you want to log in, that's totally okay. So when you hit save and continue, it's going to take you to the select rewards tab. Um, as you can see, what this is going to show you is everything that a girl could earn for selling um, or participating in our program this year. So I'm just scrolling down so you can see everything. So much fun. Okay, so as the girl earns product, there is a little green tab, and it's not on here, um, but if there was a girl that had sold, there's a little green tab that pops up right here, and it actually says earned next to it. Um, and as you can see, these little boxes are checked here. Um, since a girl doesn't have any sales, it's not letting me check anything. Now, one thing about the rewards section here. So as you can see, it is giving me the option on this 10 magazines and more choice to pick between the jelly slime with glitter and the rucksack. Our website will default to the first item if there's multiple choice. So since girls can set what their recognitions are before they've actually sold anything, um, it's a great idea to ask your girl what she's interested in. And once you click it, that doesn't mean you're married to it. If your girl changes her mind at the end of the program and she decides that she wants the rucksack, that's totally okay. Um, but it, it will save you some time if you just go through and pre-select all of these. And then as the girl earns them, there'll be a little green earned button up here and you'll see it. Um, troop leaders do also have access to your girl's rewards tab. Uh, so they can help clarify at the end of the program that what you've selected is correct and that's what your girl wants to earn or she sold enough for that product and she has two options and she wants cookie dough or whatever. So the true PSM should be clarifying with you on those rewards uh, as well, but it is always great to go ahead and pre-select those for yourself. Uh, so I do want to show you what the dashboard looks like. So if you go to your menu and you click on home, um, this is where it's going to take you is to the girl dashboard and it's just going to give you three options which is going to send more emails, text and share, or track your sales. Pretty straightforward. All of those same options that are on the tab we were just looking at are right here. So you'll see all of these. And then you as the parent do have access to some reports for your girl. Um, so you can run what her online sales were, how many emails she sent, which 
is great if you're wanting to know if she's met that 45 plus email mark to attend our free event. Um, that is something you may want to look at. So if she's only five emails short or something, you may want to uh, run that report and see where you guys are at so she can come to our free event. Um, so yeah, the reports are the same reports that would have been accessible in NUTE if you've done our program previously. Um, they should look the same and there shouldn't be any difference. Um, if you're new to the program and you have questions about the reports, I think they're pretty straightforward. The way they're labeled that does describe them pretty easily. But again, you do have those little um, question marks here and it tells you exactly what the report is. So if you just click on those, they pop up. All right. So I am going to also show you where you go if for some reason you have multiple girls. So if you're a parent and you have two girls and Girl Scouts, you have two girls that are participating in the program, um, you actually can switch to your other girl's dashboard. Um, this mom only has Alexandria, but if there was another girl listed here, you would see her name populate right here, and then you can just switch between them um, to look at where your other girl is, verse one, or most of the time you guys are going to be sending emails to the same people, but it is always good to have both so you can switch between and manage both, and that way if the girl is creating their migration patch, you have them separated. So. Um, that's where you go to look at that. So I'm going to go back home. Um, since we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and show you the My Info tab. Um, this is where you can update your girls' information. I don't want to stay on here too long because we do have um, a parent's information and a girl's information. So I'm going to X out of here and go back home. But if you're wanting to edit any of your account information, the My Info tab is where you go to do that. That's where you can also reset your password. So if you've already set up your password, um, that's okay. But if you need to reset it or you want to change it or you want to make it the same password for your other Girl Scout accounts, that's where you do that. Uh, and it looks like we do have a question. So I'm just going to open this and take a look at it here. Um, so the question is, do the emails a girl sends have to show a delivered status to count or just be sent? Uh, that's a great question. So we don't have any way of seeing if the actual email was delivered, if it went to spam, if it went to someone's promotions box or whatever it is. As long as she entered in an email address and she sent that email to the address that she believes is correct, then it counts towards the 45 plus emails. Okay. Um, so it looks like we have a few more people in here. I am going to give you guys, I feel like we've gone over most of the stuff that's on the parent side of this. Um, again, as I stated at the beginning of our webinar, I did do a true PSM webinar and that was recorded yesterday and it will be going up next week onto our website. This recorded webinar is also going up on our website at gskasmo.org. So both of them are going to be uploaded. So if you have a friend that wasn't able to watch and she has some questions and you think it might be helpful, please direct them to our website to rewatch our webinar. Um, but I am going to allow a few more minutes and see if anybody else has any questions about the parent side of Unify um, and give you guys an opportunity to ask those questions so that I can answer them live while we're here. Uh, can you show where you found the quick info videos again? Yes, happy to.
Uh, so when you're in your account again, and this sort of shows up on both, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but I just want to make sure in case you're also a true PSM and also a parent and you've jumped in on the parent webinar, but these symbols right here, um, both populate on the troop dashboard as well. So, um, but when you click on the trefoil with the I, which the I stands for information, when you click on that, you go to program info and then online training. Um, and I'll leave it up for just a second so you can take a look. Um, but basically the videos are just really quick, uh, one and a half, two minute videos that are gonna show you how to do really simple things. Um, I'll actually go ahead and click on one really quickly. I'm going to turn the sound off for you guys. But as you can see, this one's actually only 45 seconds. So this one's not even a minute. Um, but it's just going to show you exactly where to select rewards and how it looks. So yeah, really quick, um, fast, easy, showing you how to find things and what to click on. Um, I find them very helpful, so. Uh, do we have any other questions before we finish up our webinar um, and we end for the night? I know it's Friday. I'm sure you guys are ready to be done and relax for the weekend just like I am. So um, I will give again a couple more minutes just to ask any questions that are follow-up questions or if you're curious where something is. All right, everyone, it doesn't look like I've got any more questions right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. I really appreciate you all hanging out with me and listening to me ramble a little bit about our new system in Unify. Um, I know it's been kind of a learning curve and um, there's been some issues with people logging in and getting added. So I really appreciate you sticking with us. I hope this webinar helped you out in trying to navigate your girl dashboard. Um, again, the True PSM one, um, the True PSM webinar is going to be going up next week, so you can watch that. As always, if you have questions after you've after we finished or after you watch it later, if you want to rewatch it, uh, please do not hesitate to email me at candy at gskasmo.org. Uh, I am happy to help you navigate the system or answer any questions, um, or if you're having any issues with anything, always notify us. Um, again, it's a new system, so we want to hear any growing pains or any issues you guys have had. That definitely will help us uh, make sure that we focus on fixing those things for next year. Uh, so again, I really appreciate you hanging out with me on a Friday and listening to me ramble. And I hope everyone has a really great weekend. And I just really appreciate all of you. And uh, thank you for being a part of our council. So thanks, guys.